Dog, what's up? Dog, what's up? Dog, what's up? Dog, 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 dog. dog. I'm aware of the podcast. Fnet News Podcast. This is ENN, a penis pump broadcasting company. Boy, this show is a doozy. We got a couple of songs, some gay dogs, boots, jeans, and gangs. Also, Steve did some shit, then squashed it. Devilin got hacked. And so much more on episode 122 of Fnet News. Brought to you by myself, E. Fucked Hill, and Juicy Fruit Banana Bundles. Yo, 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 what's up? It's Jason Bandy here, bringing you the news again for the week over on FNet and sometimes other networks. So first off, shout out to uh, Cymaster, who sent a racer of money to make an ASCII, and he sent me some too, so thanks, bro, I appreciate that. And my boy PCAP as well, shout out to him, big time, uh, congrats, by the way. And uh, yeah, thanks for sending me some cash, bro. Uh, and shout out to FNet. For the first time in my FNet IRC career, which is very prestigious and important, I feel like I'm getting along with all corners. That be oppers, admins, dossers, trolls, normal people, and all sorts. So it's very, very weird time. Uh, now, let's ruin that by reporting on people and their drama. Right, so some random fucker joined Pound IRC over on DMA's network and said this, uh, Ray, I guess her name was, I might brick a tramp's head in late at night for not forging me the appropriate pay. I'm sick of all the thieves in society borrowing, but never repaying their debts to me. And then he, he pinged out. So that was weird, it kind of reminded me of the random shit that goes on in Pound Gods. Which reminds me, just wanted to give a reminder to message me, Pastebin Law, it's a shit that happens that's funny or random like that, and get them on the news. I'm now for a very unique gay dog log, so a guy named Vesog joined, gay dog and greeted him saying, hey Vesog, how are you today? Vesog said question mark. Gay dog said, I don't want to hear it my fellow gay friend, and Vesog said, am I gay? Gay dog said, you're a motherfucking nice gay man for not knowing how to join a channel, you pal, please kiss me. Vesog then said, do you want a savage one or a well calibrated kiss? Is Dave bad boy who won the bet? The drought is real. And then he kissed gay dog and uh, lifted his leg up, so that was weird. And uh, then it seemed they wanted more, so they joined and were greeted again. He said, you don't want to hear it, but to write uh, like a robot must be in my jeans. He kissed him again, and then he kissed Dave, it looks like, and he said, yeah, you can't call men faggots so cheaply. True save, Ezog. You cannot call men faggots so cheaply. You must invest in that and spend it well. Here's a funny log from uh, Simbuna greeting me saying greets vapor king of irc the new jam with darkness is off the chain interesting to see how thus darkness and jewbird feud will play out that's right he got dark mage and darkness mixed up so that's fucking awesome and uh, that's all i had on that but then today dma dma did the same thing saying dark mage every time i see you talk i think of this bot on my network and then he corrects it to darkness Darkness that says, LOL, did you call me Dark Mage? So I love that shit. It also reminds me that uh, me and Eraser and Dark Mage made a song. So here's the song uh, that he was talking about here. Yo, we got meat and green beans on the track. A little king crab with some guac and a taco that's packed. Fnet rappers getting money. Dark maids can't grip paper, so we taste nothing from it. Eating black beans, all the meat he wastes. When he sits down to pee out, his ass is paced. Yes, big he race with an earth to end. Mobbing up whole foods with some lettuce to spin. Yo, we ain't like the rest. We just to impress with impeccable finesse. I got a thing to address. Dark mage always struggles to rap with his chest. He does do his best, but he raps out his breast. Net. Ha, it's 
the best net So lick my neck sweat and buy our cassette Been IRC rapping since 2006 <laughs> You smell like 2000 dicks Sweet like cinnamon All these kids act like cinnamon Then they can barely make enough for pints and dinner men Ask about dark mage EMV And you won't hear shit off of IRC We ain't nobody but you ain't much better Judging us behind your screen wearing a cum stained sweater Better like us or we'll get real mad Throw our toys out the pram and scream rape at your dad I can't believe a stoop to spitting with a crab with a pencil dick hippie with some hair like a brad but who can blame me i'm a fat white nerd with a face like a ball and a dick like a bird but i still got nice legs and plump little rump and i'm down with the penis and i'm down with the pump i still got nice legs plump little rump and i'm down with the penis and i'm down with the pump all we do is the money walk we do the we do the money walk all we do is the money walk don't talk if it ain't that money talk all we do is the money walk yeah it is the money walk all we do is the money walk don't talk if it ain't that money talk yeah, it's another V&E collab But we love Old Bay, so we found us some crab Gonna spit lines out like our next Ray rap Gonna freak on the beat like a bitch on the rag I'm gonna walk on this money but side by side I used to cook crab calls, now with them I ride I wouldn't say till I die, but at least for tonight When we dropping these balls, it's crustacean time Now I'm just playing dark mage on this Probably rap about weed or some satanic shit Just as long as we rapping and we singing real slick Why I fuck Steve's mom in this porn of flick So let's keep making Music, where'd you bird at? Just in a song with Spoke, and she killed the track. Papinas Pop Salt Gang, LRH2. And don't forget to tune in the FNet News. We a fucked up bunch, don't get it twisted. But our raps and our chats is what makes us gifted. I still don't do drugs, but for me, get lifted. If you need energy, ask Angie for ribbits. Yeah, I'm a vegan and I chomp on kale. So, what you seen, the sun, you looking kinda pale. My dick is sick, you hung like a snail. Excuse me while I sip on my ginger ale. One, two, three, four, and and five and six when i'm done it'll be 32 bars on this add v that's 64 bars oh shit let's hope dark mage can keep up with it i box like a god throw my rights in my left step and roll out the way give your chin a check it's our time to shine so you can try your best while me and pump will run off into the sunset all we do is the money walk we do the we do the money walk all we do is the money walk don't talk if it ain't that money talk all we do is the money wall. Yeah. It, it is the money wall. All we do is the money wall. Don't talk if it ain't that money though. Erasing my lines, it's all in due time. I'm writing my rhymes, pen and paper grind. My name is Dark Mage. Call me Mad Crabber. I like to smoke weed, then I blather yabber jabber. I like Dan Rabbers. I'ma give you the news. You're already listening, dude. So what have you got to lose? I'm cooking this fast, traveling to the past. My food is so good, no leftovers last. Cooking Hell's Kitchen, all the bitches bitching, all the real ones wishing they could get in on the mission. We out on the street, put the rubber to concrete. Can you feel the heat? And now it's time to skeet skeet. Money walk beat. Now it's time to eat. Cook and stir fry tonight, what a treat. Feel the vapor waves, trying to get paid. Eraser and vapor just trying to microwave. What about me? Just trying to get laid. Just trying to make waves while I'm sipping Tangare in the palace of Bombay or the Palisades. Faded for days while EF Net News plays. Vapor and eraser like steak and mashed potatoes. Ayo, fuck the haters, catch me now and see me later. Shooting up lasers at the space invaders. Shooting Kamehameha blasts, making tons of craters. Ayo, slow up, set your phasers to stun. We ain't going in that hard, we're just here having fun. Come at me like I ain't rapping from my chest. Survive the stress test, call my shit Dragon Quest. EF net, get your dick wet. Best fucking music on the whole fucking internet. Synchronize our lines, it's all in due time. We're flying jip high, and we're in your fucking mind. I'ma let the haters know, Dark Mage rhyme flow always sick. We run that evil dojo, and so you should always know that our production is always quick. We know that black magic shit, you know this shit isn't rabbit tricks. Lastly, but not leastly, Ayo Jubert, suck my dick. Ayo Jubert on the reel, the C-sharp student in question, wasn't even on Code Mentors. LOL, but no big deal, honest mistake on your part. Assuming that I get students from only one location. Not trying to call you out or anything, but Ayo Jew Bird. All we do is the money wow. We do the we, we do, do the, the money, money. wow. All we do is the money wow. Don't talk if it ain't that money. Hey, yeah, talk. bros. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I encourage anyone to work with Dart Mage because it's super easy and fun like a white girl in the 60s. 
But real shit, if anyone wants to make a track and can isolate their vocals, uh, hit me up. Uh, me and Eraser love to work with anybody. So yeah, that's what's up. Uh, this is a strange log here. Audacity saying, I wear jeans and boots all summer. I don't know why. I just thought that was funny and I wanted to put it on the show. Um, let's see, some hardball news. So that's old Insect in there. Didn't like uh, me linking Ian in or any music in Pound Hardball. So he banned me. Then people started joining to mess with him and then he banned all the clients, or at least all the ones that have IDent using using this little pan here, which is clever. So as you can see, he's pretty smart. Head on over to Pound Hardball and let Insect know he's a pussy and a bad op. Or just make fun of him for not knowing how to ban people. He's especially he especially likes being threatened with knife askies. So just throwing that in there. Um, oh, and now my favorite part of the show, fuck ups. So we got Stratum here with a window fuck up. Rats with a window fuck up. Civil with a window 9 fuck up. The same one as Rats. And then me with a window 29 fuck up. Now, now Tao says dot release and he says on not this channel and leaves RC30. So I don't know what the fuck that was. And then there's Darkness with the window fuck up. Probably the most extreme because it has three W's in there. So, yeah. Nobody's perfect. And I like to exploit that for content. Now, a guy named N1000 talks to Domer and Cutie, which are, of course, both bots. Domer greets him. He says, hi. Cutie says, sup, which is awesome. And then uh, N1000 says, sup, equal what's up. So you can tell he's an old fucker. Domer says Ambrosia, Cutie says Sup Tutor Ambrosia. Um, up is that I'm using IRC after 20 years, M1000 said. What's up with you guys? Can you imagine fucking joining and, and you end up getting in a conversation with two bots? Uh, Bay Point Yacht Club, I suppose, he says. And uh, M1000 says IRC still alive, fascinating. Cutie says, I suppose. Then M1000 says, so what are you chatting about? Something interesting? Small talk? Excuse my curiosity. It fucking goes on. Until Cutie says, "In Tudor hot dog fingers look like you guys feel your sizzle." That was that's a, a pretty good combo there with Cutie and Domer working together to uh, confuse somebody. So I'm glad that's documented. Ooh, here's Kong calling out Dart Mage on some pretty blatant hypocrisy. You see him pasting the log saying, "I don't do other people's work." So Dart Mage says that, and then just a little bit later, he says, "If Incog wants me to do his work for him, send him my, my code mentor.io page to set up an appointment." He pasted a couple times, and then he says, Laws at forgetting what he just said a few lines ago. Damn, Kongen is not playing. Yeah, <laughs> he took one line and another line and ruined all of Dark Mage's amazing top-notch credibility. Here's a log where Jidif says some shit about shooting up, and it was funny. But the best part was when Nero said he needled once in his ass cheek then woke up naked in his closet. So you can... <laughs> Have a read there at the log. I, I believe that shit because Nero's crazy. And that's uh that's pretty pretty weird. Tater send Q pound definite news when poor 80 was down. And uh, here's the proof. Classic Tater. Shout out to that that bold move. Uh, here's a few logs of Jewbird saying Salt Gang claim, Salt Gang claims responsibility for the Fnet downtime. And uh, yeah, I don't think a lot of people like that. And then he said, so random. Out of all the Fnet drama today, I lost ops in Bird Nest, except for Emmy. So I have to wait for her to get out of rehab to get my ops back in the channel. I like that quote. Uh, G Bird's a very volatile dude, so uh, it was weird when we decided to work with him. No, I'm just kidding. We just wanted to collab with G Bird too, so me and Eraser made a song with him. Check it out. songs a week you know what i'm saying i'm tired no, I'm just go. I just woke up, making up a new bite of coffee. Logging on, getting ready, chatting up softly. Awfully quiet, cause I'm over in the west. Way, way west, an American guest, and I'm sitting. Could have been at whole shitting. Chilling on juice, Android, I'm getting bored. Popped up with a cord, then I see a gourd with two dicks on the side. Oh lord, old man with a plan, to my hands on the player, and I can't understand who else could be gay. So I play the ass key with the big dick ears. Roll up a spliff, and I crack open beers, it's fat. Enemies, I got a lot of. Stand when I pee, air is free, done, da da. Oof. Respect my name since 06. Ain't a damn thing changed since back in the day it was me on my teeth spinning rounds on my chat and on the PC. Now my new flood of spitters and fit the ring. I'm excited to see what the fuck the dudes bring. Raft, battles and spitting, hating, shitting on names. Nothing but hate and smash keep playing. Half of them cool and half of them lame. The RC game. I've seen a lot of things these years. So I drink my beer and I chat till I fall asleep. Sound sleep. 
sleep out long, going off with the song, no beeps. Pump bowl still dreaming of treats, so I guess I'll log on a chat heavy. Don't wanna get up, so I pull out my phone with juice. As I say, I'm never alone. Gotta be quiet this early at home, but I'm typing all caps in the channel, bro, bro. Here I am, here I was, here I always will be. Seen a lot of things, having lots of funny stories, lots of friendships made, lots of memories, lots of drama, lots of fights, lots of trollery. Just today, well, who did I see? Fucking dick years using that shitty kiwi, talking shit in pound IC30 till they caught a kick band from a real pumper G. Just made another B and E Billboard chart and hit this week featuring Dog Mage. He did crappy. Now I'm on this track with his enemy. Where's Little Boys killed by Little Angie? Was MT Dubs fuck federally? Lots of questions, few answers, pretty much. Basically, I will live and I'll die by the IRC. I seen a lot of things these years, so I drink my beer and chat till I fall asleep. Oh my ZNC's drop Thought to myself Did I get hacked? Did you? Probably DDoS Is all a Fnet loss? Cannabis spread his wings Over IRC and chat Where the internet's still free Xchat loaded VPN on this No was already bad Barely made it back to all my friends In the IRC land Wasn't long before then Again everybody dropped In this situation You're guaranteed to lose your ops Took me a while to realize That poor 80 got Owned. Jump to another server and Fnet still pwned. Shout out to Emmy, praying you'll pass the rehab drug test. You're the only one with ops and who can restore them in bird nest. I've seen a lot of things these years, so I drink my beer and chat till I fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. Hope you like that shit. Um, comment on the on the YouTube which one you think is better. If you give a shit, <laughs> I think they're both awesome. Uh, by the way, I mentioned it earlier, but Port 80 went down for quite a while recently, a couple days back. Uh, it wasn't DOS though. Perplexa seemed to drag his belt over the uplink cable, so uh, it was just down for a little while until Steve decided to wake up in the middle of the day after a long hangover and plug the cables back in. So it wasn't Salt Gang even though they might claim it. But then, who am I to believe? I'm paid off by poor 80 to say things. Yeah. Uh, so, things have calmed between Stee and the Pumpers. Here's the news everybody wants, I think. But only after a bunch of stuff happened. So, I will report on them. And Stee, I know you're watching this, dude. We're cool. We're good, 100%. But I just can't race a week that happens. So, I have to report on it. <laughs> Go outside and have a cigarette. So, let's start out with this long. Uh, Steve saying I popped three Klonopins last night at four and I ate some quesadillas woke up 12 noon still sitting on my floor <laughs> of my living room now <laughs> first off imagine that I mean really imagine it but if you can't here's a picture so now you know what it looks like uh, also I wanted to thank Steve for the word bub lots of people have been saying that now uh, and, and it seems to have worked in, into a couple people's IRC whatever the fuck profile just say bub. It's fun to say. It's easier than bro. Bounces. So anyways, after the last episode, Steve joined Poundport 80 and sarcastically said, make a song for me, try to ruin my rep a little more with your lies and deceitfulness. I never did you wrong at all. In fact, I even donated money to your lame show where you blasted me with lies and tried to belittle me. My face on a cop's body is about as funny as you dressed up as Elmer Fudd with your dollar store glasses on. I wish I could come back in poor 80 and hang out with my buds again without you harassing me. Now let me be clear, I never harassed Steve. I can tell he was just emotional and he was angry. But then Sidemaster uh, tried to set him on course by saying, why don't you go into FNet News to voice your grievances? Fair play. Port 80 is not the place. Steve wasn't having that. He tore into size saying he was the first one to turn against him and get his shell removed from Raffaday's box. It was low down. Steve never did a thing to Psy, and he removed him from the Fnet bot in Pound Fnet. Psy then cut in to explain he jeopardized Raph's box with the antics. Steve said, hey, I didn't do a thing. I didn't pack it. No one. 
Dog, what's up? So I said, hey, I vouch for you, bro. Then I unvouch for you. Brutal. You ain't taking me down with you. Steve disagrees and says, no, you took Vapor's side when he was clowning me. I didn't do anything wrong. Sai says he watched Steve self-destruct and Steve says, no, you watch Vapor fucking terrorize me. Anyway, it goes on and on and on. Pause it. You can read the log. I think uh, there might be in the description. I don't fucking know. Um, anyway, there's a log there. Press pause if you give a shit. Later, Darkness showed up. This is where, where it gets interesting. So he says, I'm getting real tired of this N-word, name dropping me, uh, etc. You can read that there. Um, I think I have that in the log. Um, anyway, so Sidemaster comes up with a great plan and says, yo, take it to Fight Club, Pound Fight Club. That's what it was made for. Rebirth made the shit for people to go fight at so they don't just shit up channels with the bullshit. Rose says, damn, you backpedal a lot. Vinyl says, same. Vinyl. I never read that link you gave me, Vinyl, or Vinyl, where it tells me how to pronounce your name. Just tell me, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to click a link. So, here's the full, the full log of Fight Club is in the description for sure. Uh, it's far too long to cover. There's an amazing fight. If you just want some good reading, go ahead and have it. This is the log that I was given a, a little while back, and it was, it was a secret thing I wasn't supposed to talk about, but Darkness didn't give a fuck anymore. And he says, anyway, here it is, where Steve says, yo, you around? Darkness says, hi. Steve says, would you mind dropping an IP for me? I normally don't ask, but I, I thought I'd ask my homie. Ah, uh, hate me with the homie shit. Darkness says, what is it? He gives the IP. Darkness says, who's it belong to and why? Steve says, pp4l.org. <laughs> he didn't say who. He just said that he gave the domain. I'm tired of all these goddamn floods and those are the asshole, uh, assholes behind all this BS. Darkness says, it's an OVH, IVP4, it's not possible. Steve says, damn, my luck, lol. Anyway, so then he goes on to explain, this isn't Fight Club, of course. Steve tried to get me to DOS PP4L.org. I originally, wanted, ugh, I originally wanted this log to stay hush hush, but now I don't give a fuck anymore. So, there's a shitload more in the log, but again, full log can be clicked. Luckily, Darkness didn't DOS me, bro, and uh, he let it be known he had no beast with me. So, after things kind of cooled down, and trust me, a lot of shit happened, Steve's network took a, a bit of a beating from a bunch of bots and shit, uh, most of which I was blamed for, even though I'm always asleep doing this kind of shit. But anyway, again, after things cooled down, I woke up to this. He said, Steve says, I want to apologize for the way I acted over your show. I want to apologize for some of the dumb shit I said. I shouldn't have taken so serious, blah, blah, blah. So I said, it's all good. But he was gone by then. He, he was offline. So the joke was on me. Eventually, I caught up with him after I read this log. I watched FNet News and heard about Pound Frack hollered at my N-word DAC. He said, Spoke had a dick. You don't even know about that. Okay, that's kind of how my song was going to go, but I downloaded some spyware program faking a music making tool, so right now I'm uninstalling 10 spyware programs. That is so fucking amazing. I felt like the dude was bled dry. He was finally going to respond in song form, but got fucking spyware and was busy uninstalling 10 spyware. So anyway, I made sure to reach out to him to hit him, to hit squash any kind of bullshit because he's going through so much. So I really hope that, that Steve and I collab on a track, man. If he, I can get you the software if you need it, dude, to record some vocals, and I will help you out with that. I want to collab with everybody. Let me drink some drink. Fucking. Actually, I'm going to press stop because I want to fuck this whole take up. All right, we're back. Uh, anyway, so now we move forward. I promise you the Steve stuff will be over in just a minute if you don't like it. Anyway. Later in the week, Steve added me as an opera on his network as part of the peace offering. I tried operating and it didn't work. No surprise there, Steve fucked something up and he went to sleep. Now some guy named Devilon sent me a message to ask me what my problem was. They were on a high alert at the time because that's where all the bots were fucking people up. <clears throat> and he said he would speak to Steve to verify who I was, but in the meantime, I should join Pound Dev Hosting and buy a VPS from him. So I joined. Uh, now let's check him check him out here voicing me then then three hours later devoicing me and kick banning me saying you were not the person I thought you out to be mate but my client rejoined and he tried to ban anyone named zero uh, then he banned my client and kicked me saying oh won't have DOS attackers in the channel me the big DOS King uh, someone I still auto read or somehow I still auto rejoin and he kicked me saying get the fuck out don't come back like I'm asleep <laughs> and he says, 
Uh, anyway, I kept auto rejoining, and he had to set plus I to get rid of me. And he was nice enough to say bye, though, and he kicked me. So, you see the fucking log there? Then, he sent me some private messages. So, he said, I just got notified that you tend to DOS attack people for a living. <laughs> On FNAT, for a fucking living. And several people warn me about you, so maybe you like to fuck with people, but I can't let you fuck up minds. You won't be an opera on this network either. I got no personal beef with you. It's just that I can't take responsibility. I don't know if this was a former thing you were doing, but anyways, to do that, crap to users. It's just mean, sir, and I won't have it. Sorry. <laughs> but maybe you're good now. Now, this is minutes later. Maybe you're good now. I just hear bad stuff about you, but that shouldn't be judged on how you are. He's having like a moral conflict in like six minutes. Then he, he says, I apologize for my outburst. A lot of people tried to exploit me today. <coughs> he actually says, Splout. Now, six minutes later, he said, What a fucked up day. He's like having a whole conversation. I was wrong to judge you for who you are now. No, and I don't know you personally. So wrong with me. Apologize for that. Just a very good friend of mine said you were doing this to other people for a living on FNET many years ago, but won't judge you. So, from me to you, so far, you are all right. Everyone has done mistakes. Got to sleep. Like, what a weird thing to wake up to. Again, all I did was join a network, and this is all this shit's happened. So, he went from accusing me of making a living from Dawson, blah, blah, blah. You saw it. Weird shit. Apparently, some guy named D10, who he gave root to on, on his servers, uh, was telling him I was a Dawson kid and shit, and I made money off of it. And then a day later, Devilon shit got deleted. Uh, his IRC hub, his hosting and shit, all his, all his boxes, I think. Uh, and it's apparently D10 is the culprit. He even released a zine, which um, I didn't think people really did anymore. I'll link to it in the description, but here's a screenshot. I'll leave it. Ha it's weird. It has greets, including me and lots of people I know. And also the, the hack is claimed by Dart Mage of fucking Evil Dojo. I, I haven't even talked to him about this. Uh, what the fuck is going on? If anyone knows or anyone has any leads as far as the actual hack, because that shit was insane. Like, I'm sure I'll probably get fucking blamed for it. Um, anyway, here's a no context quote where Rondito says, yeah, my bro hit me with a BJ once. Uh, I managed to get somebody with a server prank. Here it is. Oof. Unfortunately it was DMA. You see here, he tries to register his Nick serve, uh, with, with his email. Uh, I tell him to try his front slash server register, uh, and then bam, he, he quits. So there you go. <laughs> All right, stick with me here. I hope people are still watching. Um, so speaking of DMA, and now amazing situation uh, with DMA and Huge Cock. I'm going to try to do a speed report. So this is long. It has to be covered. I've never seen anyone struggle with Huge Cock like this. For those of you that don't know, Huge Cock steals the nickname of the last person uh, that quit in Pound FNet News. So that's all you need to know. Uh, if you need to get your nick back, just quit a different client and bam, you can get your nick back. Now, DMA, before I start, you know I love you, bro, but this was funny, so I gotta report it. Okay, so speed through, here we go. Number one, DMA quits and gets juked, and the juke starts a toke. That was cool anyway. Number two, DMA joins, sees he's juked, then parts. <clears throat> Number three, DMA messages the bot. Number four, DMA joins a client and parts a different one and calls the bot stupid. Number five, DMA joins again and quits, then that gets juked. Number six, DMA joins, then leaves. Number seven, DMA joins and assaults the bot and vents his frustration. Number eight, he rejoins and asks for help, then parts. Number nine, on another client, he asks for help again and Eraser steps in. Number two, frustrations all around, Eraser scrolls, DMA lets us know about his mood. Sly says, dear God. Anyway, it was pretty fun, well, for everyone other than DMA. So shout out to DMA. By the way, he's one of the nicest guys in IRC. Sometimes he just lacks understanding of basic IRC protocol. DMA, you can always hit up Simaster or Racer for help if you need any help with, with IRC. Uh, speaking of, now over to my man Simaster with the weather. Si? Woo! What a beautiful day for a ride. E-N-N -N weather in Castro Valley at the car show. It's been about 62, but it's been a nice day for a car show. Lots of people hanging out with friends. It's all good. E-N-N. -N. 
wonderful coverage as always my brother and i feel like that's enough content bow what's up what else can we do after a man in a hot tub with a helmet on bow well i'll tell you what what's up we can send it on over to racer and t-rex who uh gets to do ascii of the week fellas well it's been a long time but it's ascii of the week with t-rex t-rex yeah yeah shalom. Shalom, shalom what do we got here bro oh this stuff is Ooh, is he like, what is he pointing at? Is, is that a good spot to go to the bathroom or what? I, I don't know. It's facial expression, you know, like, ooh, here we go right here. That's that's where I want to be. He's got a nice belt. Yeah, uh, it's standard. It's standard. I like his boots, though. His boots, <laughs> the, boots, the boots is telling me something. Are they Tim's? Uh, no, we're like, pay less this. Oh, they pay less shoes? I, I think he got them right before on the foreclosure tip thing. Well, he's definitely a uh, little Richie going to a concert to play a piano. Um, I think he might be in a doctor's office or something. They got clowns in a doctor's yeah. office? I mean, you know, hey, this is a toughie for me this week. <laughs> I, I just can't, uh, you know. What do you think about, what do you think about, it's an unwashed favorite red shirt. Well, let, let me explain to you. It's one of those shirts where you can just wash and wear. Like, you know, if it's wrinkled, the wrinkles will just fall off during the course of the day. So that's, that's the shirt is fine. Plus, it looks like one of the shirts I buy, you know, at the store of the Clan Dragon. Preferably <laughs> like the one I have on right now. Oh, so that's like the same thing? Well, not the same thing. Mine is white and black. Do you, you think? Know? Do you think his was four dollars too? Uh, uh, no, no, more like a dollar ninety-eight Goodwill. <laughs> oh, I got sign. You gotta hold it while I record this shit. Well, well. Oh my God, I can't write with this. Yeah. There we go. Enough. Yeah. Thank you, bro. We're hard workers around here. You can see we're, we're versatile. <laughs> Wonderful UK weather. No thunderstorms. Nope. But is that the cloud trying to get with the moon on a on a sexual type thing? Is that my That's the fucking sun. <laughs> but That's the sun. I understand, but the clouds are moving closer with the with the thing out. Here. The, ho the, the, hold these, that. These segments are running kinda long here today only because of the versatility Where's, of oh workers. God. So getting back to this portfolio picture. Got a rap star? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stumped this week. Am I gonna see him on Netflix or what? It's kind of it's kind of hard. He picked the hard one for me. So with this being said, since I'm stumped this week, you guys have a lovely, lovely day, a better tomorrow, and we out. Keep some pork on your fork, swine on your mind. Dilly dilly, shalom. Shalom. Fucking amazing. Congratulations to uh, Jew Bird for getting Ask of the Week. And I love seeing T-Rex and I love seeing uh, Eraser. And that was a different T-Rex. T-Rex seemed to be a bit preoccupied in his head about things. So it was fun. some of the shit he fucked up. The moon. The moon was fucking hilarious to me. Uh, and that's it, my friends. E&M 122 in the bag. Shout out to my patrons over on patreon.com slash fnetnews. Sign up, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say. I really appreciate to those that are still there. So many people. Monkey, NK9K, Tao, Subone, Chrono, Nance, Load, Sloth, Sybil, Kaku, AIDS, PCAP, Intradome, Kong, Fuzi, Psymaster, Estella, Efox, BB420, Nevar, Scrim, Cosby X, Chex, Pokery, Meep Sheep, Echo Shun, Eraser, Jew Bird Spoke, Money Tree, Judge, Wheat and Kid, Stratum, Angie, Carl, Demogorgo, Sif, Open Soul, Guess Right, Kakamon, DMA. Son of a bitch. I don't deserve that many people. I love you guys so much. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you on episode 123 next week. Peace out. For more EFNet news, follow Vapor on Snapchat as Smiggy999 or on Twitter as PP4L. All around me are the worldwide losers. I see users, fucking pieces of trash. Dab guy. Dab guy.
Dog, what's up?